Hey kids! Welcome to Fun Learning. In this video, we will be learning about about a healthy diet and our body. Healthy eating pyramid. The main food groups. Importance of fruit and vegetables. Grains and pulses. Dairy products. Tarches, sugars and fats. Vitamins and minerals. Healthy eating myths. Eating food containing important nutrients helps us grow, and is essential for children's mental and physical development. The term, healthy eating, is very broad and encompasses a range of areas, including the following. Enjoying a varied diet. Having a healthy relationship with food. Encouraging appropriate portion sizes. Enjoying a varied diet. All foods contain different nutrients, vitamins and minerals. In order to get all the nutrients they need, it is important for children to have a varied diet containing lots of different foods. Aim for three balanced meals a day and up to two healthy snacks. Use different protein sources in each meal and different varieties of vegetables. Have a healthy relationship with food. Ensuring children have a healthy relationship with food will establish a positive attitude to eating in the long run. Try to teach them about food and nutrition for example where their food comes from and get them cooking early on. Encouraging appropriate portion sizes. Get used to dishing up, me-sized plates instead of adult-sized plates as this can encourage overeating. Learn to avoid overeating. Encourage small portions. We can have more if they still feel hungry. Healthy eating and balanced diet. What is a balanced diet? A balanced diet contains all the food types in the right amounts to stay healthy. A balanced diet gives your body the nutrients it needs to function correctly. To get the nutrition you need, most of your daily calories should come from fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and nuts. Lean proteins. How do we know how much of each food type to eat? Have you ever heard of the food pyramid? What is it? That's right. The food pyramid is a pyramid which ranks our food from the healthiest options at the bottom, to the not so healthy treats at the top. We can use the food pyramid. Let's explore the food pyramid. Why is food pyramid important? Our body require carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, protein, fiber and fats for growth and development. However, the amount of each of these important components varies depending on age and gender. A food pyramid provides general guidelines to help understand the need and components of a complete and balanced diet. What are the key components of food pyramid? The five basic food groups for kids that are part of the food pyramid are Dairy vegetables fruits grain, and protein. It was shaped like a pyramid to suggest that a person should eat more foods from the bottom of the pyramid and fewer foods and beverages from the top of the pyramid. Carbohydrates. Take most food from this group, rice, pasta, bread, potatoes. Fruit and vegetables. Take five portions a day from this group. Meat, fish and dairy. Take something from this group. Foods high in fats and sugars. Take only small amounts from this group. Here are the main food groups. Grain groups. Fruits and veggie groups. Dairy groups. And meat groups. Fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables grow on plants, underground, on the ground or in trees. Every day we should eat at least five portions of fruit and vegetables. A portion is about a handful. Fruit and vegetables give us fiber and vitamins and minerals. Grains and pulses. This food group includes wheat, corn, barley, rice, lentils, beans etc. These are all from plants and form a staple part of the diet for people all over the world. Grains and pulses give us carbohydrates and proteins. Nuts are another source of protein. Rice is the staple food in China and much of the East. What is it in the West? The answer is wheat. Western countries eat it in bread, pasta, cereals, cakes, biscuits and it's added to all sorts of foods. Dairy products. Dairy foods are made from milk, usually cow's milk, but can be from other animals like goats or sheep. 
Dairy foods give us proteins and fats. They are also a good source of calcium which is good for bones and teeth. These foods include cheese, hard, soft, cottage, yogurt, food high in milk or milk products. Do you know that our brains are 80% fat? Meat, fish and eggs. The main nutrients derived from meat are proteins, but it also gives us fats and some minerals. The meat and fish group includes chicken and all poultry, fish and shellfish, beef and lamb. Eggs are included in this group too. Athletes eat lots of protein, they help to build muscles. Do you know the foodie fact that sushi, raw fish, is now Marks and Spencer's best-selling lunchtime snack? Starches, sugars and fats. Sometimes foods are classified into starches, sugars and fats. Starches includes foods like potatoes and provide mainly carbohydrates. Carbohydrates give us the energy to carry on with our day-to-day -day lives. Foods high in sugars include those naturally occurring as in fruit, and those containing refined, processed sugars such as sweets, chocolates, cakes etc. We need to limit our intake of refined sugars, these are empty calories which give an immediate boost. A small amount of fat is important for health, but eating too much fat is unhealthy. It leads to clogged arteries, restricted blood supply, high cholesterol and becoming overweight. Vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals Our bodies need all sorts of chemicals, vitamins and minerals, to be healthy. The most common are. Vitamin A helps maintain eyesight found in sweet potatoes, carrots. Vitamin B help body make protein found green leafy vegetables. Vitamin C healing skin, preventing colds found in citrus fruit, tomatoes. Vitamin D strengthen bones found in milk and natural sunlight. Vitamin E helps strengthen cells found in vegetable oils, nuts. Iron healthy blood found green leafy vegetables. All the vitamins are essential for human body growth and development. If we will not consume the right amount of food or body will become weak. Rich or healthy, what do you prefer? Did you know? One in every 25 children are now obese, which means they're so overweight it's bad for their health. But why do you think it's such a big problem? They should make healthy food look and taste better, then more people will want to eat it. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are made from wheat corn rice barley. There are two types of carbohydrates refined and unrefined. In refined machines have removed most of the fiber bits white bread white pasta white rice. Whereas in unrefined all the fiber bits still in. Good for you brown bread whole grain cereal and rice whole grain pasta. Both have their own importance. Fruit and vegetables how much should we have a day? Five portions per day. How much is one portion? One medium sized fruit, apple orange etc. One slice of melon, pineapple etc. A handful of grapes one tablespoon of dried fruit one small glass of fruit juice one small tin of fruit one side salad one serving of vegetables, peas, broccoli etc. Why do we need to eat fruit and vegetables every day? Fruit and vegetables contain many of the vitamins and fibers we need to stay healthy. Why do we need dairy every day? Dairy contains calcium which gives us strong bones and teeth. Protein. Why do we need proteins every day? Proteins help to build the body, especially important for growing children. Proteins help to repair the body after an illness or injury. Fats and sugar. Not all fats and sugars are bad but they need to be taken in small amounts. Fats and sugars give the body energy. If we eat more than we need our body cannot burn all the energy. This is when we get fatter. How can we eat less fats and sugars? Snack on dried fruit or fresh fruit trim the fat off meat. Buy lean meat steam or bake rather than frying in oil. Use less butter and margarine use skimmed milk rather than full fat. Avoid too much high fat fast foods avoid too many high sugar sweets and drinks. We should drink about 8 glasses of water per day. Rather drink low fat milk and milk products. Semi-skimmed or skimmed milk is the best. Avoid sugary soft drinks. Rather have diet or reduced sugar drinks. 
pure unsweetened fruit juice is the best. Also have some delicious smoothies. When is the best times to have my meals? Breakfast. Most important meal of the day. Always start your day with a healthy breakfast. Lunch. Have a balanced lunch at about midday. Snack on fruit if you get hungry between meals. Supper. This should be your smallest meal don't eat too late in the evening. Could I make changes to my way of eating to ensure that I am healthy? Yes we can. Some healthy eating myths. It doesn't matter what I eat as long as I do lots of exercise. Wrong. Exercise is good for you, but it still matters what you eat. Eating the right foods means we can learn better and exercise better too. Chocolate is bad for you. It's true that chocolate isn't the healthiest snack, but it isn't innately bad either. So, some chocolate can be part of a balanced diet. Plain, dark, chocolate is better for you thank milk, it is higher in iron. Chewing and digesting a stick of celery uses up more energy than you get from the food. This sounds good, but unfortunately it isn't true. If our bodies are human machines food is our fuel. How well we eat, affects how well our bodies work, and how long we live. It is especially important that we eat heavily as children, as we are still growing and developing. A young plant not given proper nutrients grows up to be a poor specimen. A healthy diet is sometimes called a balanced diet as it needs to consist of different types of foods. Eating properly and regularly is really important. What we eat and drink now, affects our health in the future. Children that eat breakfast get better scores in tests than children that don't. This is all for today. Thanks for watching.